The ancient North Eurasians were represented by the Malta Buret culture, the Afantonovo Gora culture, lastly, my favorite, the Yana Rhinoceros horn site. From the book by David Reich, Who We Are and How We Got Here, the ancient North Eurasians have the largest legacy to ever exist in this world. Half of the world has about 5 to 40% of their admixture. In our West Eurasian populations and Amerindians, and to a lesser extent, Siberian. But, surprisingly like how your dad left home for milk, they don't have much of a genetic legacy on today's Siberian people. Well, there are major, major, major outliers which we'll get into later. In short, the ancient North Eurasians derived two-thirds of their genetic ancestry from early West Eurasian hunter-gatherers represented by the constant Key 14 sample, whilst the other one-third from the early East Eurasian populations, represented by the Tian Yuan sample. The East Eurasian and West Eurasian distribution between people varied a lot. It varied between like 22% East Eurasian to 50% East Eurasian. On a side note, the reason behind the Jomon having a bit of a European-like look to them, which makes them stand out against other East Asians, is due to the Yana ancient North Eurasian admixture they have. But check out my video about the Ainu to learn more. According to the Top G himself, Yang, the constant Key 14 sample and the Tian Yuan samples are best described as sister groups to what the actual West Eurasian and East Eurasian components of the ANE are. His model of the Yana and Malta samples is 68% West Eurasian and 32% East Eurasian. Native Americans, South Asians, the ancient STEP and Europeans all have been contaminated by the ancient North Eurasian legacy. Yeah, remember when I said there was a major outlier thing in Siberia? By that I meant that the vast majority of Siberians lack ancient North Eurasians. However, in a few select populations, they have the highest amount of ancient North Eurasian admixture. Like the Kets as you see here, and then the Mansi, then the Selkops. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys. These people had the largest legacy in humans ever. Ancient North Eurasians resulted in the Altai hunter-gatherers, the Western hunter-gatherers, the Eastern hunter-gatherers, followed up by their combo creation, the Scandinavian hunter-gatherers, and then the Western Siberian hunter-gatherers, Western steppe herders, which resulted in the creation of the largest linguistic group in the world, the Indo-Europeans, which resulted in the Pontic steppe and Forest steppe. They also resulted in the ancient Northeast Asian hunter-gatherers and the motherfucking Terra mummies, and they cluster very, very closely to the Bowtie. Which is insane because the Bowtie were like the first horse hunter-gatherers, so the ancient North Eurasians were just truly legendary. 